Good afternoon, it's Terry from TLC, grooming from my kitchen table. Um, but we just got a notification about a YouTube video that we had uploaded quite a while ago, back in the summer, and it was about Shelties and how to keep them cool in the summer. So this lady named Caitlin just sent me an email and said, thanks for sharing. Do you have any recommendations for keeping feces out of the Shelties back quarter fur? I had been trimming the haunches back quite a bit along and along with down at the base of the tail. But now I'm realizing that was most likely damaging her fur. What is the best way to keep the dog hygienically clean? My dog is prone to UTIs, so it's pretty a pretty big concern for me. So that's a really good question because Shelty butt, as we call it in the grooming industry, is something else because there's so much hair. Let's try and pretend that Emma's a Sheltie. There is just so much hair back here, and when they go to the washroom, it gets stuck all in here. Do you mind? I know, it's kind of sensitive area. So what we do, um, you're probably best to go to a grooming salon and ask for a sanitary, right? You'll probably pay 20 bucks, maybe less, and you'll be in and out of there in 10 minutes if that's all they do, okay? So what they're gonna do is they're gonna take their scissors, this is what I do, and rectum. I take it with scissor width, right? So I go a scissor width around the rectum area. Let's just get some of the hair off so we can see, okay? I don't use clippers on the rear ends. So I go a scissor width around the top, scissor width on the side, scissor width on the side, scissor width on the bottom. Okay, that's really rough, okay? So that clears the path. I don't use my clippers, a lot of groomers do, but I don't because I'm always worried that I'm gonna be clipping and trying to carve out the hair there and then they're going to sit and then I'm going to give them a baboon butt or they're going to sit on this and it's going to bump into their bum. So I worry about that. So the next thing that we do with Shelties a lot, Shelties, um, Collies, Golden Retrievers, that's another one. Anything that's got pants and hairiness back here is we do a poop path, a pole path. Some, sometimes we call it a driveway. So that's when you get your clippers out and they come down so there's a pathway. So when poop falls out, it just kind of doesn't get stuck in there because there's not so much, okay? It's not so much an, an issue of cutting back the actual pants itself. It's an issue of keeping this clear at all times making a pathway down and with regard to the UTIs I would make sure that you've got the vag area clean so that's your sanitary this this whole bit is your sanitary clean there's not a groomer on the planet that doesn't do this all the time okay so you want to keep that that hair in the vag area completely clean of hair as much as you possibly can that'll really really help with bacteria and nasty things right because when they pee and then they the, if they're if they're hairy there that urine sits there and it gets kind of cakey and nasty so if you keep that clear for them go into a grooming salon or uh, you know every every month even get your nails done get your pads done get your slipper feet taken off do a sanitary boom you're you're in great shape if you're doing your own brushing and combing and bathing and trimming and stuff like that at home but you're nervous about these sensitive areas and it's your right to be because you can't hurt them. Um, the other thing that I should mention is a flea comb is worth its weight in, in gold if you can pick one up when you go to a pet store. Because when you get stuff stuck in here, you can get your flea comb, and I don't have one, sorry, but the tines on the flea comb is, you know, you have probably three tines in between these two tines on this big comb here, okay? So they're really close together. So they will grab debris. They will grab things that you wanna try and get out of your dog. So 
take your flea comb, and you got a hunk of poo stuck in there, you can just take your flea comb and it'll slide out, okay? And then into the garbage it goes. That'll help you also maintain after in between sanitary visits at the groomer, okay? So thanks to Caitlin for the email and asking the question, and we'll upload this to YouTube and, I don't know, maybe do a blog post about it too, okay? Thanks, everybody. Have a great day. Talk to you later.